Sportsbit is powered by Bet Online, driving the opening odds market since 2001. Visit sportsbookreview.com to learn more about Bet Online and its A plus rated platform in the link below. What's the biggest game on Sunday? It's probably this one. L.A. Rams minus two and 48 against the Philadelphia Eagles. Two teams, I'm not going to say they've come out of nowhere, but two teams that were not considered to be among the elite contenders in the NFC coming into the season. They've turned out to be elite contenders. When you look at the Football Outsiders numbers, right now, Rams are the number one team in the NFL, according to the advanced metrics from FBO. The Eagles, number two team in the NFL, based on the 2017 metrics. The question is, are these two teams ready for the showdown? This is a pressure game. Philly played a pressure game last week, didn't look good. Rams pressure games, don't know if they've had any hole yet. And we wonder, is this the first of many for Carson Wentz and Jared Goff? This feels like a rivalry just starting to happen. Philadelphia is an overvalued commodity. We saw it last week. We saw the markets crash. Look ahead line on this game was Eagles minus three against the Rams. And then after Philly struggled against Seattle last week, boy, we saw an adjustment in that regard. And the market said, Eagles haven't played anyone all year. Philly, two games all season against teams that currently have a winning record. One and one straight up and against the spread in those games. They beat Carolina. They lost to Seattle. The Rams, two and two straight up and against the spread versus teams with winning records. They beat New Orleans. They beat Jacksonville. They lost to Seattle and lost to Minnesota. The Seahawks game, uh, all turnovers uh, for the Rams. They were probably the better team on the field that day. So neither team has been truly battle-tested, but certainly the Rams have faced more tough competition than Philly so far. In my mind, they've shown fairly well against most of that competition. Eagles staying on the West Coast after the Seahawks game. They've been practicing at Angel Stadium in Anaheim. Good move, obviously, but it has them out of the fire area. and. When you have the opportunity to stay on the West Coast, that tends to be a good thing as opposed to flying back and then flying back again uh, later in the week, back-to-back West Coast game. The Rams have been in a situation where their own practices have been affected by the fire situation in L.A. They had to turn a planned Wednesday practice into a walkthrough instead. There were air quality issues. John McVay said it was probably a good thing. Quote, it actually worked out as a benefit. Jared Goff, quote, it actually ended up working out really well. I mean, just getting a chance to kind of get off our feet a little bit and get a lot of mental work in and get probably a lot more reps than we would have. So they don't seem overly concerned about practice being affected. You do worry about off-field distractions, teams that are dealing with stuff like all the communities in L.A. are dealing with this week. That's something you're thinking about when you're not on the practice field. You know, the Eagles, uh, the, all these easy games. And, you know, boom, they went five weeks, including the bye, without having a game decided by less than 23 points. They were just killing everybody. And then we're seeing last couple of games, the penalties, 18 penalties against the Bears and the Seahawks uh, in their last two games. The quote here from Carson Wentz. I think the big thing is we missed opportunities. Obviously, I had a fumble down there at the goal line. Yeah, pretty big fumble. That changed the whole game. Uh, We've just got to clean up some of those things up. Did we have our best performance? No, not at all. But I thought we were right there. It wasn't a game plan thing. It wasn't a play calling thing at all. We've just got to execute. Wentz, I agree with what you're trying to do there, but it was a game plan thing. It was a play calling thing last week. I wonder if we'll be that again. For Philadelphia, Doug Peterson, not a coach that I'm ready to trust in big games just yet. If I'm playing, I'm laying. Call me a Rams believer a little bit more than I am an Eagles believer at this stage of the campaign. Sunday night football betting preview coming up next. Ravens and Steelers stay right here on Sportsbit. Betting insight today from SBRPicks.com. 
Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now, not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.